Alright, so we're going to be doing Next.js authentication using JVT and we're going to use cookies instead of storing the token inside of local storage because we are professionals. So let's get straight into it. I have a Next.js project here and it has an index page where I have two inputs and a button. I have a use state here for a password and for changing the values for because we need to get those values so we can send them to our backend. Now the first thing that you're going to do is install cookie and JSON web token. These are the two libraries that we're going to be needing to implement this, to implement our own authentication. So install cookie and JSON web token and we can continue. Now we want to log in our user create a token and send it put it put it inside a cookie and send it to our client side so we're going to be doing this with the sign function in json web token and serialize in cookie so create an auth folder inside of api and then create a login js so it's going to go auth api and then login okay API auth and then login. Okay, this is going to be our route for logging in. Now, we also need to define a secret key. This is for our JVTs because we don't want to expose the secret key to anyone. So when you create a, a env.local file, you're going to need to store this. Basically, it needs to be very private. So you're going to create a secret value here and you're going to do whatever you want here. The what the the more complex this thing here is, the better it is for you. So you have a secret here, you can name it whatever you want, and we're gonna pull this so we can sign the key. Okay. So now that we created this function, we need to get the username and password that our user sent. Okay. So most of the time you're going to be having a data you're going to have a database here i don't know postgres or, or mongodb whatever you want and you're going to be getting the username and the password the user that you want to authenticate from the body okay and now you're going to check example check in the database if a user with this username and password exist okay so when you check this if the user exists and we're going to hard code some information here for example if username is equal to admin and password is equal to admin we can continue and the username and the user is entered the the correct credentials but if it isn't we're going to respond with for example 401 and we're going to say invalid credential okay now <clears throat> here's the, the the most important part we need to create a token that we're gonna sign okay so we're gonna call the sign function we're gonna make it valid for 30 days okay so this is seconds times 60 times 60 times 24 times 30 okay and you're gonna have some payload here okay so for example if your user needs to have I don't know his date of birth you're gonna say date of birth and then whatever you want here okay it's gonna be from your database so in our case we're just gonna hard code the values for example we're gonna say username and it's gonna be the sent username and this here is the secret it's this secret here that we we need to use and it's we get it like this so in our seek in our constant here secret we're gonna fetch it from here, from our env variable, okay? So now that we have our token, we need to create a cookie. So we need to serialize a cookie. And we're gonna be doing that with the serialize function from cookie MPA package. And we're gonna say serialized is equal to serialize. And we're gonna give it a name. So for example, our site JVT. This is the cookie name. We're going to pass it the token and we're going to give it some values here that are 
that are needed for this to work okay so this is http only true you need this because we don't want someone else to mess with our cookie on the client side because we don't want anyone to access our cookies using javascript okay we need this this http only true you can read up the documentation and these other things i'm just going to explain the max age and this is basically when the cookie expires so this here and this here should probably probably be the same if you want your backend working because if this expires you cannot send it and if this expires you will be uh, unauthorized basically because the token will not be able to get verified and now we want to set headers so we're going to say set header and this header set cookie is the one that we're going to be using okay so in our set cookie header we're going to be saying serialized so this means that when we send the response that cookie will be set in our browser and no one else from javascript can access it it can only be used to send it can be only be used it can only be appended to a request or something okay and now we want to say status 200 and let's say message is success okay <laughs> now we reload the page we go to our expect inspect element and let's go to our index we got the username and the password from here and now we're gonna make a request and i installed axios you can do whatever you want you can send the request however you like but i'm using axios so i'm gonna say uh, const user is equal to await axios post and we're gonna send it to api slash off slash login okay and we're gonna send our credentials now let's log a user and let's see what's happening okay so we go we enter some invalid info and request failed with status 401 okay let's see what's this but if i say admin admin and i log in the request is good you see success so if we, we are invalid it throws an error right it should not be throwing it like this i think but let's see runtime error hmm unauthorized right right api 401 unauthorized right let's let's remove this just so we can i, I want you, i want to show you guys that it's working i don't want to mess with status code right status goes right now okay so it says invalid credentials so now when we log in with our provided credentials we log in it says data is message success and now when we go to our application and we go to our cookies you can see that our site jvt it's this okay it works and this is the value of the jvt it also has an expiration date size http only and everything else and this is the, the main thing you cannot access this if it's from javascript so that makes us safe now we want to be using this cookie in for example let's authenticate our user let's check if we can actually access something with this so we're going to be creating a route inside api so we're going to say for example um get user let's say user.js okay we're going to export the default async function. Okay, let's disable ES. Okay, let's disable this because it's an anonymous function. I don't want it to... I don't care about it. Because we're doing a tutorial here. We're not creating a project. <clears throat> and now we want to protect our route, basically. We don't want anyone else to... Uh, mess with us without our explicit permission so let's say we can get some users here so we need to get the cookie okay we're going to be sending this and we need to get and check if it exists so we're going to say cookies is equal to 
request. So this basically gets the cookies from the request. And now we can console dot. Let's get our JVT and say cookies dot our name. So it's our site JVT. So you do not give values like this, this ones. You give it strictly letters. And now we can console dot log JVT and let's say the request is successful always. I just want to show you that we can read the JVT and that it's there. Okay, so let's reload this request and let's create another button here to get some data. Okay, so user. Now when we click it, we want to call a function handle get user, for example. Okay. We can create handle get user. Okay, I keep keep doing this. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say we want to send the request there. So we're gonna say user axios and we're gonna call user instead of login. Okay, we don't need to send any credentials and this is a get request. Okay. And let's console.log. Actually, we don't need to console.log anything. We can just send the request. Okay, so we reload. And let's see this being displayed here. So we can load it here. Compiling API. Okay, that works. We, when we call the user now. Okay, there it is. Okay, this is the token. And now we have the token. And now we can actually do something that we want. So we, we can say if JVP. If it doesn't exist, we can say rest.json and we can say message and valid token. Okay. But if everything is all right, we can just say, for example, data, top secret data. Okay. So now when we send the request here, we need, we should log it. <laughs> we should log it actually. So we're gonna console.log user. Okay, we reload the page. Now when we send it, you see, top secret data because we have the cookie inside of here. Okay, so let's say I delete this cookie, I reload the page and I say user and we have data invalid token because it checks if the cookie exists. So you see, invalid tokens. Okay, you should probably change the status to 401 or something, but that's up to you. Now, if we log in, we logged in, okay, we get the data, it says success. And now when we try to get the user, it says top secret data. So this part here worked. So that's it. It's, it's not hard. It's better to use this instead of putting the cookie inside, putting the JVT inside a local storage because Anyone that executes a script on your browser can basically steal your cookies, steal your, steal your JVT if, it, if he has access to cookies. And there's one more thing you need to know, and that's you want to log out. Okay, so it's not really hard. You can just create a new route in auth, call it logout.js. We're going to export a default async function again. It's going to have a request a response. I'm just going to disable this warning. Okay. And again, we want to de-authenticate the user, basically. Okay. How can we do that? Well, we can just check if the user has the JVT cookie. So we're going to say JVT is equal to cookies dot our site JVT and we can see if JVT so if we have the cookie let's just check first if it isn't we can say rest.json message bro you already you are already not logged in okay and if it is we want to just clear the cookie right it's it's totally simple so if jvt does exist 
we're just going to set the headers again. And we're going to say the same thing here in login. Log out here, serialized, but you see it's our site JVT and my max age, that's not important, but we have nothing to put in here. Okay, so we're going to say no instead of token and we're going to import the serialized function from cookie. And now we're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to say best.header set cookie serialized this cookie and we're going to say JSON successfully log out. Okay, so now when we reload, go to our application, there it is. Let's create a logout button. Logout on click, we're going to say handle logout. I don't know if it's two words or one, I don't care. Okay, const handle logout async, we await a const user logged out of something it's not important await axios dot now you can get or post this i'm just going to call it get and we can say api slash off slash log out because we now we want to log out okay and now we can console.log user and now we reload okay we have the cookie oh yeah i'm i'm very dumb this this part here is not important it's important that the max age is minus one so it, it gets cleared so let's see we let's say we authenticate ourselves admin login we have our cookie here and when we call logout it gets removed because this max age expires and the good thing about this is that the max age it clears the cookie instantly so you don't need to worry about anything so let's say we for example we have our cookie that's that's valid for five seconds okay we can log in we get the cookie it's valid for five seconds all right so next time we go we reload we reload the page it's empty so it it, it handles itself you don't need to handle anything else and create hooks for yourself for local storage or anything else so now that you logged out we can call the user and invalid token it won't allow the whoever it is to access the protected routes so that's it that's the entire part the main part of jvt authentication using cookies http only cookies